This time's like, and in this video we are looking at Edward VI and the economic changes which occurred under him. So first of all we will look at the economic problems under Somerset. And the rate of inflation had been rapidly increasing during the reign of Henry VIII, and this continued during Somerset's reign. Now Somerset continued the war against Scotland, which meant that he was forced to continue the debasement of the coinage. And although this raised £537,000, it heightened inflammatory pressures and added to the social distress. Now the poor harvest of 1548 reinforced these inflammatory pressures. Somerset also introduced further taxation, he sold land, and he borrowed money in order to fund the war. Now on the other hand, Somerset did attempt to reduce the consequences from enclosure by setting up a commission, and enclosure was basically sealing off land. Now although this was a well-meaning policy, it achieved little and it aggravated the landowners who feared a loss of their livelihood. Now in order to prevent enclosure, Somerset also introduced a tax on sheep, and this had the alternative effect of increasing pressures upon the small farmers who relied on sheep for subsistence. So the next thing is the economic changes under Northumberland, as there did continue to be both social and economic problems under Northumberland, and these included the rising population which led to more pressure on food supplies, the poor harvests in the early 1550s making the price of grain rise, and the social unrest after the 1549 rebellions. There was also suffering trade with the Netherlands in 1551 due to problems in Antwerp. And in order to increase trade, Northumberland started to increase the amount of exploration. And by 1553, English ships were trading in West Africa, and Richard Chancellor was able to forge diplomatic ties with Ivan IV, who was the star of Muscovy. Now, Northumberland also introduced policies to improve the social and economic situation, and in, and in 1550, the sheep tax of 1548 was repealed. The Treason Act in 1550 reimposed censorship to maintain law and order. Anti-enclosure legislation was passed to protect arable farming, and a new poor law was passed in 1552 to make parishes responsible for raising money for the deserving poor. Now, seeing as the government also had no money, Boulogne was sold back to France for £133,000, which could be seen as a success because they got money for it. However, it was way undervalued and it wasn't really that much compared to what it could be worth. Now, William Cecil and Thomas Gresham were put, the men put in charge of the financial planning, and this financial planning included the sale of chantry lands, borrowing from European bankers, and reversing the debasement of the coinage by adding more silver content. Even so, the Crown were forced to sell off Crown lands, increased revenue by raising customers and excise rates, and melt down church plates for bullion. So thank you for watching, that's the economic policies, both problems under Somerset and the various improvements which took place under Northumberland. So thank you and see you soon. Bye.